body drop, voodoo, and by sheer coincidence. An internationally famous pioneer of time travel. And we're not talking about Aggie. <laughs> Professor Frank Templer has become the guru of all serious scientific time travels. The first to take Girdle's brilliant but crazy solution and turn it into something almost practical. I have always been interested in extending human power. That has been my motivation since kindergarten. I have a vivid memory of myself imagining rockets going up in the distance, which I myself had designed. Ever since, I have been interested in space travel and time travel. In the early 1970s, he heard about the work of Kurt Gödel and set him thinking. Kurt Gödel had shown that if the universe happened to be rotating sufficiently rapidly, it could give rise to time travel. And I thought this was a fascinating idea. Unfortunately, we could not rotate the entire universe. It's not now rotating, it will never rotate. But I wondered to myself, would it be possible to rotate a smaller object that might yield the same property of time travel. The first smaller object Tipler studied was smaller than the entire universe, but it wasn't exactly tiny. whether he could exploit the strange, vast phenomenon called black holes. There are spinning regions of the universe left by the collapse of stars. In black holes, the normal laws of physics seem to have been reversed. And it had been suggested that if you enter one, you might experience time running backwards to the past. The problem with a black hole is it's surrounded by a surface so that if you go inside the black hole, you can never get out again. So if a black hole couldn't be a time machine, Tipler thought perhaps he could do the next best thing he could make a black hole all of his own. He used mathematical equations to try and devise different rotating structures which would create the properties of a black hole without the disadvantages. There seemed to be just one structure which did the trick. Now, it occurred to me that another rotating body which would not have the surface of a black hole is a long extended cylinder. I was able to prove that inevitably, if you were to spin up a cylinder sufficiently rapidly, it would necessarily have a region around it that would permit time travel, permit you to go around the cylinder and return to your starting point far away from the cylinder before you left. True time travel. It had taken Tipler two years to work out the mathematical implications of this bizarre structure. Finally, he was able to announce it really would work. If you travelled round the cylinder, you could go back in time. The universe wouldn't be rotating as Gödel suggested, but the effect would be the same. I was so excited because I thought that this had at long last shown that time travel would be in some point in the future within human grasp. Frank Tipler had proved that a time machine might one day be built. The dream of moving around time at will, it seemed, could be achieved. Humans would be able to go to the future or the past and return to the present day. A 
and now others set out to build variations on Tipler's theme. We now have a zoology of time machines. All these solutions that have been proposed for time machines do the same thing that Gödel did back in 1949, and that is warp and twist the fabric of space and time so much that space turns into time, time turns into space, and you could literally go forwards in time until you come backwards in time. In this zoo, there is a place for almost everything, even a pizza.